find the most exciting part of my job today more so than ever um, lays with the options for tools that we can offer patients. And so that brings us to many different clinical scenarios where we have options for individuals, couples when to get pregnant now or defer pregnancy for the future. So it's pretty amazing every day. The most rewarding part of my job is by far in the relationships that I build with my patients over time. It is a very special thing to have patients come back to see you a second time to continue building their family. That is what it's all about. It means that we've had success and that they've enjoyed the experience in achieving their pregnancy. The fertility journey is daunting as a whole unless you're able to have the support one step at a time to get to the point of the pregnancy. And it is a roller coaster journey, but I feel that all of are able to provide that support because we have such a good team. I feel the most important thing that I do for patients is to take the time so that they understand their diagnosis. They understand why we recommend treatments for them. Within there, it gives them a great deal of empowerment to make the right decision for them moving forward, whether that's an individual or a couple who's wanting to get pregnant now, or a young woman who's wanting to defer attempts for fertility into the future. So it's all about what's key to me is their understanding. And with that, they have great clarity for moving forward. I am proud of all of every day in that Obviously it makes no sense for us to be here unless we are successful and we have good pregnancy rates and that goes without saying. I'm most proud about our ethos though and the way in which we have a commitment to our patients and we see that from our receptionist meeting patient to my team being involved with a patient and my one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. So it really comes down to patient-centered care and uh, I feel that's key. I feel there is a need for greater awareness for um, issues that face women socially. Like, uh, as women, we have, you know, juggling of professional lives, family lives, and it's really hard to find time to fit fertility in or fertility preservation in. I've be motivated to really try and disseminate the message to healthcare professionals and to women on their own again about the need to take control of their own reproductive lives and some of that is finding the time to actually put yourself first whether that be freeze your eggs for future chance of building a family or just trying to get pregnant now and pushing regular life aside and sometimes we need to be selfish in that and so I feel it's all about like the awareness of time is important and you need to put yourself first now.